Good. Heel. Good. That's my boy, Leo. That's my boy, Leo. That's my boy. That's good. Good. Stay. Good. Good. Ah, da, 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 da. No. Stay. Ah, da, 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 da. Da, da. Good. Very smart. Good. Heel. Good. 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 Very good. Very good. Stay. Good boy. Good job. We worked on down yesterday without any tools. So we'll start on that. Break. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. That's right. That's good. 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 He's a he's a guy that <clears throat> he's gonna make me. He's gonna push the boundaries of of the system, right? So this is him just figuring out where it can go, and that's important for a dog to do to explore. Because I got some reps from him, and now he's just like because I played with him, right? That's why we do it. Not only only it feels natural and it feels good for both of us, but it provides an opportunity for him to say, "Well, what happens if I don't listen?" And then I get to show him what's going up with correction. Now I found a level that was working and I didn't go up from there because he's still learning. I need to teach him what to do with the correction and that there's a way out and that's just complying to the command. And you could see when he was like fine, right? But you could also see the corrections because I was going tap, tap, tap and it was going. And he knew what it meant. And then finally I found a level where he was like, okay. And he laid down. Good boy. Break. That's right. That's fine. Yes, he is. You want to say hi to my dog? He loves you. Come on. Hi, Leo. <laughs> So I went firmer right off the bat with that one. Okay, good. 
and this is all given context like the dog I'm working with and all this I wanted right from the bat after he actively ignored me I said yes I've seen that one little one firm one and he dropped okay so this is now we're at a very clean level where I can just kind of tap once and he goes to a down put him in situations where he doesn't want to listen eventually of course and show them that there's no way out of the um, of my leadership I guess there's no loopholes in it and then he believes me and he stops testing the boundaries but he's definitely a guy who's gonna go bounce his head off the box a little bit and see where the perimeters are right and once he finds them he seems to be very compliant so good dog overall good boy it's worth good it boy. to try it's worth it to try and that's it too it is worth it to try <laughs> and because we know that this is a natural response we're already ready for it like we it's part of our program to allow them to explore the boundary so that they can come to their own conclusion and that leads to a lot less like frustrating fights t directed towards the handler right good no That's, <laughs> he's so he's, serious he's trying okay so it's great this he's in the he's he's so he's doing so well right and every day it gets better break good job nice work and the thing is he doesn't even know what he wants to do with his free time anyway he's like yeah free time well what do we do again? right he doesn't know good boy that's a good boy he likes to play though don't you yes he does that's going to be one of his things moving forward is to learn to go from <clears throat> play to calm instantly okay all right let's try some stuff well very nice right very nice but we're gonna try some walking because we need to keep doing that it's a beautiful day isn't it for this not too hot not too cool heel good good this means we're traveling good Boy. One of the things I want to remind our, viewer, our viewers, although a lot of you probably already know, you're going to see that we're, we're out here and we're doing our thing, but we don't have a whole lot of tangible rewards with us, like food or, or a ball or a tug or anything. You got, what I want you guys to remember is for us, the reward, the initial reward is involvement. Just, just simply interacting with the dog should be reward enough, doing an activity together, right? But there's other layers in that too. Like if he does well in his sis day, I can then release him and let him have free time out in the woods and in the field and go sniff trees and say hi to other dogs. So these are natural rewards. And if you learn how to use them, you're not gonna need to go pull out the ball or go pull out the food or anything like that. You learn how to use what your dog already finds. N innately valuable. Break. Come on, you. Come on, you guy. <laughs> They're too much fun. I know. I know. It's true. The face. It's great. You can't have a bad day when you see him. Like, you know, you're tired. It's Monday morning, and you walk in the kennel room, and you see this face. And you're like, okay, I feel better. <laughs>